PlayStation PC Juggernaut Hells Divers 2 is making news. In a recent article spearheaded by the Forbes own Paul Tassi, the game's drop in daily concurrent users is being called out. More so than that, the article gives the appearance that Sony is failing in its push towards live service. Now, many have tacked what they see as the short, the short-sightedness of this thought process ferociously. This includes developer of Paul World, who also has been the target of Tassie's quote-unquote engagement farming, as they call it. They say the, they, they cite a lack of discernment towards the roller coaster nature of most games as a service. Now, T Tassie has responded in an attempt to add context to his goal with these articles. Now, does Tassie have a point when you look at his response, or are the devs right in labeling this engagement farming? We tackle all this on the next installment of The Spill, our gaming hot topic video series. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture. And yes, here, MM2K Gaming back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where we talk about the latest hot topic issue in gaming and boy oh boy oh boy this one's been simmering over the weekend i couldn't wait to get into this one but before we do do us a huge favorite that like button hit that subscribe button rock those bells for notifications please okay let's talk about this this is playstation hell divers 2 hate from paul tassi called out by developer okay so here's what's going on here folks um let's first talk about this article from paul tassi this article just like comes out of nowhere. Um, talking about how Hell Divers 2 is like really falling behind from where it launched. And this is not a good look for Sony and it's not good for Sony. And this is not what they want because, you know, they're trying to prove that they can do live service and this is so bad and they've lost 90% of their users and all this other stuff, right? This is what this is what Paul Tassi says in the article. Is they're, they're, they've lost ninety percent of their players. Here's the problem with that. When we go deep dive into what's going on, um, we realize two things that Paul has done. One, Paul has totally ignored the normal fluctuation with even the top titles from launch like the there's always that that original hiccup of content where they will dive significantly um we actually have a developer who they feel like has been a victim of paul tassie's point of view on all this that they've recently you know their activities contradict him and what he's been saying in, in this regards we'll get to what they say in a little bit but not only does Paul conveniently ignore the normal fluctuation that happens in these live service games from time to time, but he's done, but, but the most heinous thing of someone of quote unquote, his stature, he does a terrible job deciphering the difference between uh, current active users and player engagement. Again, in this article, he, he talks about them losing 90% of their players. I'm going to show you that's not actually what's going on here. Um, here, in, in order for us to do this, let, let me just first tackle the whole, the news is slow thing. Um, I didn't know until like an hour before I recorded this, what we were going to talk about for today. I mean, the news is so slow that this is a day that where we normally do a podcast, a full fledged podcast, Cold Blood and I. Um, and the news was so slow, we had nothing to talk about. So I'm going to be playing video games, which is not a bad thing at all. I want to do more of that. We're going to be playing video games and just talking general gaming news. There's this, there's some other stuff about the PlayStation versus Xbox news article. We'll get into all that. That being said, it's slow. Like nobody has nothing to talk about. Cause there's nothing going on. It's the summertime. This happens every year, but this year more so than others, it feels like it's a lot slower, you know, within the last week or so. Right. So in that struggle for content, it feels like Paul Tassie 
trying to manipulate the timeline of, of how you can get things to go viral in the gaming world. He drops this over the weekend. He knows it's going to create buzz over the weekend in hopes that it gets picked up more rapidly through the week because the news cycle is slow by his comrades. And that, for the most part, was starting to happen. But then his hopes got curb stomped. <laughs> and how did that happen? Because in his ignorance towards the normal fluctuation of these titles, the developer of Paul World, came out developer of Paul Ward came out and they've been the recent subjects of some of Paul Tassie's aloofness possibly to his, some of his convenient aloofness to what's going on here let, let me show you what I'm talking about here, let, let's, let's do this this is coming from uh, Bucky CM of the uh, Bucky of Paul World and he says Paul Ward gamers a moment of your time and this is definitely in response to what Tassie is saying about Hell's Divers 2. He, he's like, I, enough is enough. Please stop getting baited into player number arguments on Discord, Twitter, and Reddit. I see you guys in the comments. And it's really sweet you want to stand up for Paul World, but it's super not worth your time. Those posts are pure engagement bait. 99% of them are basically just NPCs desperate for a post to do numbers. And the other 1% is just the media doing what the media do. I see your comments, arguing, the back and forths, some of you even at me. Doesn't matter. Gives you an, ex an example. For instance, Paul World has had 2 million current uh, or concurrent active users. Then it went all the way down to 15,000. Now it's back up to 140,000. It's not something to get angry about. In a few weeks, it'll go down again. And next major update will go up. That's just how it works. Paul World could have literally had one person playing it and that won't take away from the fact that you played a fun game and have fun memories of it. X was fun for a month, but it fell off. Don't let this constant gamer culture of dragging every game down, bickering, arguing, false console war, nonsensical Barbo bait you into giving up even a second of your day. Play whatever games you want to play, whatever games you want. If you like it, great. If you don't, I could move on. There's countless other games to try. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. So some of you may look at that and you may say, well, Emma, what is that? How, this is the Paul Wall guy. Why is he saying that? Well, Paul, Ta we know he's talking about what Paul Tassie had to say. Um, it's very evident because number one, here goes a great clip <laughs> from somebody on Twitter by the name of Oliver Darko, right? Uh, let's pull his tweet up. He says, yikes, Paul Rose community manager is sick and tired of clickbait journalism from Paul Tassie. And when you look at when they posted this, this was posted uh, over the weekend, the same time Paul Tassie posted his Helldivers 2 article. Mind you, there's nothing going on with Paul World. He, even though he did this to Paul World, the same thing to Paul World. Look at the date. The date of his Paul World article is February 12th. This happened the last weekend of June, 2024. So this was spearheaded by Paul Tassie's Hell Divers 2 article. And last but certainly not least, Paul Tassie says so. He makes a he doesn't make a, he, he makes a, an, an amendment to his Hell Divers 2 article. He references Bucky's comments and he goes to explain himself. I'm not going to get into it because it's just a mumbo jumbo world salad of nothingness trying to uh, excuse why this article even exists and what he's even trying to say, what, he, what, what, what it is that he's even trying to convey because it is not air apparent. It doesn't really jive up or make any sense okay so that's what the people of paul war had to say right about the article altogether things fluctuate like it fluctuated with theirs and he spelled do doom and gloom as you can see paul world has lost the two-thirds of its players in two weeks like all this fun right but let's look specifically at uh 
Hell Divers 2. Is there even anything to fud about with Hell Divers 2? Let's take a look. Okay. I want to show you guys something. It'll let me. Okay, yeah, it'll let me. So let's do this. I gotta disconnect something in order for my <laughs> in order for my message board to pop back up for some reason. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's show you this. This is from Matt Piscatella from Sukana, also known as NPD, or formerly known as NPD. And they calculate all of the, the activity of gaming um, in North America. Huge region, the largest region when it comes to console gaming, nothing to steal. If you find success in North America, you generally find success. So he shows you the top 10 engaged games. Like as far as just having players engaged with it, period for the week. And he does this weekly now, which is cool. And if you go over to steam, the same litmus that Paul Tassi used to write his scathing article, you find out that hell's divers too is actually in third place behind Counter-Strike and Elden Ring. Now, Counter-Strike and Elden Ring have way more significant current active users. Like, I think uh, Counter-Strike at the, la the time I was checking it, it was like at a, a million or something like that. To where Paul World, I mean, not Paul World, uh, uh, Helldivers 2 was like 30,000, right? But that's current active users. That's not telling you the totality of people that engage with the game over a period of time. And to better break this down by the analysts themselves, you got uh, Matt Piscatella to put this out there. American Truck Songs, um, who's a senior reporter at Kotaku, says, surprised to see El Diver still so high with the concurrent drop-off. I guess sessions are shorter, but more people are circulating through every week. And Matt Piscatella says it certainly had a drop week on week on Steam, but then again, so did Destiny 2, and despite that both titles remain meaningfully ahead of the next group. So yeah, there can definitely be some churn that doesn't end up impacting relative rankings, right? So what, what, what are we saying here? We're basically saying that Paul, unfortunately, does not understand the difference between current active users, which just gives you a snapshot of what's going on at that moment versus engagement that tells you how many people are actually engaging with the game overall and how many people dropped off from the game, right? Somebody posted something here and I had to respond to it in lieu of all this mess. And I say a hundred, look, hundred percent. People misinterpret concurrent players with player engagement, as you can see. In North America, players are still locked into um, Helldivers 2, just not with as many hours as they used to. That means less chance of overlap, less chance of CCU, doesn't mean 90% drop in player base. Slap my head emoji based off of Paul Tassie's assertion. Okay. So here's it in a nutshell, y'all. Um, Paul Tassie is notorious for this. And that this is getting facts like current active users versus player engagement wrong. And where his facts might be right, he has horrible interpretations of them. And for the record, I like Paul Tassie. Despite my many arguments with him, I, 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 I'm really fond of how he never shies away from a fight, right? You can battle this guy and he's never going to shy away from you. But I do agree with the devs. This was full on engagement farming. New cycle is slow. Paul thought, hey, look, the reaction was worth the engagement. I can really get a lot of reference back to my site from my comrades. If I put this out here, this is going to get the fanboys and the fangirls stirred up. It'll be worth it. Let's, let's forget about fact checking and being accurate here. Let's just give an assertion 
put it out there and let and, and let the engagement farming begin. He just didn't expect that the dev would pull his card and expose his engagements as they are so effortlessly. <laughs> and that's it. Let me know, people, what you think about all this in the comment section below. Because like I always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They will lead you to Geeks, Cloud Dosage, or Dark Digital Culture, and just here in MTK Gaming. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.